I'm here with my friend Johnny. How's it going? And Johnny is a really good reptile person. He's a reptile breeder. He's good at finding reptiles in the wild. Today we're going up near Escondido outside of San Diego to a place where we'll be looking for whatever herps we can find, any lizards, um, but the one lizard that hopefully we find is a horn lizard. So if you've never heard of a horn lizard before, one of the most beautiful, most charismatic reptiles that you can find in all of North America. So wish us good luck. So Johnny and I have made it to the beautiful mountains. We are the only people out here. I got my net, which I know it's not uh, the most impressive way to catch reptiles, but it makes things a lot easier. Looking at the size of the path, we saw one fence lizard so far, but he got away from me before I could catch him. It was pretty hot here today. It was like over 95 degrees. And as it cools down, hopefully we'll get some more activity. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Dude, I'm searching. Oh searching hard for these guys. At least it's a gorgeous view here if we don't find any. So, uh, we just found a horn frog. Go TCU, I'm just kidding. We just found a coast horn lizard right here. And we're gonna try to catch him. There he goes. Gosh, I got him. I see him. He's still back there. Do you see him? Yeah, here, let me try and switch off here. All right, so he's between me and Johnny. I'm on the other side now. <clears throat> he just ate something now. He's right in here. He's right there. And uh, he's right there. So I'm on the other side of him. I'm gonna go in. If I can't get him, then hopefully Johnny can get him on the other side there. And we got him located again. He's right here. I'm down on my knees. I'm gonna catch you, man. He's coming back out in the open. All right, fine, we finally caught him. I probably should have made a better effort to catch him earlier, but I was trying to get the catch on camera, but good job, Johnny. So he was just chilling there next to all those ants and he wasn't even moving, perfectly camouflaged almost. And by the way, these guys really aren't that hard to catch. It's kind of pathetic that we had to do a Jason Bourne crawling through the bushes mega stealth mission to find him. Don't judge us, please. What an absolutely gorgeous creature. There he's in focus. Wow, look at all these spines. Tell me everything you know about horned lizards, Johnny. <laughs> After that? Huh? They're pretty rare. I mean, you don't see them all the time really, you know, anymore. Even though they're not endangered, this species, other species of horned lizards are um, endangered. But this species, even though they're uh, not endangered, they are becoming less common. So basically this guy is found all the way from uh, the Baja Peninsula in Mexico up through the state, most of the state of California. In San Diego County specifically, you'll find these guys from sort of the middle of the mountains all the way uh, to the coast. It's estimated that they've disappeared from about 35 to 45% of their range, and they're not endangered, but you know, that is still pretty significant. And the reason why they've disappeared from a lot of their range is uh, habitat destruction from housing developments and so on. They specialize on eating ants. They don't feed exclusively on ants, but studies have found that, they, that over 90% of their diet is on ants. And really that's the best way to track them. If you're in their habitat, which is this, you want to look around uh, for ants. You know, definitely when you're walking, stop 
and watch just what direction the ants are going. If you can find an ant hill, they will just camp out there. They will sit there right next to the ant hill. There's an ant hill right here. And this guy was just sitting. Where was he sitting? Like right here? Yeah. Yeah, he was sitting right here just eating the ants as they came in and out of the ant hill. So these guys, ooh, starting to get bit by these ants. <laughs> Nature striking back at me for, uh, for fooling around with it right now. Now many of you guys have maybe heard of their defense mechanism where they will actually shoot out blood. That is real. That is something that actually happens. I've talked to biologists who have handled thousands and thousands of these guys, multiple species, and they've only been sprayed blood on like a dozen times. However, when you are more likely to see a horn lizard squirt blood is when a dog gets hold of it. And that's probably just because horn lizards evolved to evade predators that are like dogs and not like some large primate like us. Studies have found that the most that they'll move is like 150 feet in a whole day. They really don't go looking and chasing their prey. What they'll do is they'll just sit down next to an anthill and just wait to see what walks by them. I guess it's kind of like eating like a five, 10, 100 course meal, ant by ant by ant. study from 2002 uh, had three main factors that determine the likelihood of how likely you're going to be able to find these guys. And one is if that habitat has a lot of coastal chaparral plants, this place definitely seems like it is that type of habitat. The second factor is the presence of sandy soils. Then the third factor that affects the likelihood of you finding a horned lizard in a certain habitat is the presence of the invasive Argentine ants. Because these guys, like I said, they are specialists in eating ants, but they favor the native harvester ants. And if they're forced to eat the introduced Argentine ants, that can actually negatively impact their health. There's been studies that have shown that if they're eating those invasive Argentine ants, then their fitness is actually reduced. Again, if you're trying to find these guys, come to the right habitat, coastal chaparral, and look for the ant hills and it all depends on the temperature. If it's really hot in the summer where it's in like the 90s or above, try to wait till the evenings for when it cools down. This lizard really means a lot to me because I actually went to grad school at TCU and their mascot is the horn frogs. Obviously their mascot is based on a different horn lizard and it's not actually called a horn frog or a horny toad as some people call them. We did end up releasing that horn lizard safely back into the wild. Thank you very much for watching guys. Remember to subscribe if you want more videos like this in which I teach you how to find, photograph, and identify wildlife. The last thing I just wanna emphasize is that there's a number of species of horn lizards across North America who are either threatened, endangered, or their populations are significantly declining. I have no problem if you do wanna touch them and pick them up, but just please make sure that you minimize the amount of time that you spend handling them. I would only maybe touch them one time with your hands get some nice up close photos and then every time you see a horn lizard after that just stay away from them also make sure when you're handling them be careful as possible because they are delicate animals and make sure you have no artificial chemicals on your hands like sunscreen or bug spray with all that said good luck finding some horn lizards